Hi everybody, here comes a, another tutorial. So this is going to be a tutorial on how to convert 2K17 cyberfaces to NBA 2K16. So first off, what you're gonna need for the NBA 2K16 portion, um, you need two point, uh, Blender 2.72, and I'll show you that in a moment. And then for the 2K17 portion, in order for the mesh tool to work properly, you will need to have Blender 2.82. So as you see, similar to my other tutorial, here is how the folders are set up. So you have your 2K16 folder, which is going to enclose your 2K16 face that you're going to be using as a model um, to overwrite. And this is, I'm gonna be doing Allen Iverson, who is in sore need of an upgrade on NBA 2K16. So here is, I just used Iverson's, you can use any player, but I just use the NBA 2K16 default Iverson. So here is files, his hi head, and his model. And when you're exporting the model, make sure that you're choosing the, the highest quality, which is going to be the highest size in here. So that's going to be this one right here. This one only has the player model in there because I deleted the other ones, but there it is right there. So then what you're going to have is 2K17, same thing. This is going to be the Iverson that I want to bring over to 2K16. Um, we have face um, and PNG files, the high head, and the model. And then we have a converted folder for where we're going to drop the conversion after it's done. So the first thing that we want to do is let's open up the 2K, um, excuse me, Blender 2.72, as you see on the screen. And let me do this. And what you're going to want to do is import that 2K16 model. So select the high head, hit import. And this is going to be Allen Iverson in NBA 2K16, which was absolutely terrible. It looks nothing like him. Um, let me just see here. Oops, I accidentally tilted him there. So there's that. As you can see, it's not a good face. Um, and then what you're going to want to do now is open up Blender 2.82. and import that 2K17 model. So let's go back here, select the high head, import. The keyboard's not working 100% uh, correct, so sorry about that. All right, so there's Iverson. So what we're gonna do here is we should be able to bring over the um, the hair from the other one. I'm not going to bring over the facial hair, but we're going to bring over the hair from the 2K16 model as well. Because remember, I told you that you can do that. You can bring in any hair that you want from 2K16. We may have to adjust the fit, but yeah. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to start this out like you would do any other conversion. You're going to go into edit mode. You're going to select blend head shape and deselect it. And then you're going to hit delete on your keyboard right here and, and delete vertices. So that leaves you just with Allen Iverson's face. Then what you need to do is go over to Blender 2.72, um, select A on your keyboard, which selects Iverson. Hit Control C to copy. Now go over to your other Blender, oops, go to your other Blender and hit Control V in object mode so switch this to object mode then hit Control v and there iverson's over here and now we can use the mesh tool now what you want to do is click on iverson's body which is going to be player.001 up in the top right here you're going to go to mesh data transfer you're going to hit active you're going to go source player vertex blend head shape and then just hit transfer Perfect. So then now what we're going to do is we can do our regular editing steps like, you know, fixing the eyes, etc. And we can even delete that model if we want, but let's go into edit mode. So this is the player model before the conversion. So let's delete that out. We don't need that anymore. Here it is after the conversion. Yeah. 
and unselect. So see, you've got that great Iverson face. And if you see, that hair from 2K17, the original, is on Iverson. So that's, that's how we're able to do it. And I'll show you how we end up finishing uh, this job in a second. But first, what I want to do is correct little things like the eyes. I want to make him look at least presentable in the game when we do this first look through. But yeah, see the hair? It's right there. So let's go um, with the eyes. So let's select the eyes. And see how they look as far as relation to the face. Hey, they're looking like they might be. All right. Let me just see. Yeah, these are looking good. Looks like they line up pretty well. Remember, 2K16 and 2K17 have very similar um, setups. And you know what I'm going to do just for the sake of this? I'm actually going to hide the... Um, I'm going to just get rid of these, the eyelashes piece, because it looks like they might be a little bit too big. Put those in his head. How are we looking here? Pretty good. All right. So the next thing is, is we want to go to the mouth. move that into place and then we can do our slight body edits now one thing I did notice that is the chest seems to be a little bit bigger in NBA 2k 17 so normally routine for me is just to kind of get in the habit of automatically um, moving that back a little and I also moved the shoulders down because the necks are longer in the other game, which is good because the, that's one problem with the NBA 2K 17 bodies. So if you look at some of the adjustments I'm making, I would make this a habit. Another thing that's incredibly important, and I talked about this on my other tutorial, is using this flatten tool to get rid of some of these lines. Clean that right up. And then this you can use like the um, the pull tool or you can uh, just hide them. And that's what we're going to do for now because I don't want to go through this. I don't want to make this tutorial longer than it needs to be. People who are watching this usually have a pretty good introductory understanding of um, Blender. So let's just move these inside where they're going to be like hidden by the jersey. That might be pretty good. Um, so there, look, we have Allen Iverson. That face looks fantastic. It even looks like the hair might fit pretty well as it is but let me actually double check that so let's go hair hey that actually uh just looks like it might be pretty good okay so now what we need to do is copy this over to the other blender so it exports properly so what we need to do is See how he's selected here? Hit Control C on your keyboard. Now go back here and hit Control V. And there he is. And then what we want to do is see there's the good Iverson. There's the bad Iverson. So in this Iverson right here needs to go. So we're going to delete. Select this one. Rename it to player dot zero. Excuse me, just player, and then export. So where we're exporting this one is going to be in that converted folder that I talked about off the top. Perfect. No errors, nothing. Just exported beautifully. And you'll know you did it right as far as the export goes as if it has the same file name um, as the one in 2K16. What I mean by file name is the model number name. So what we want to do is grab that 2K16 PNG, 
bring that over to the converted folder and place that player in here. So if you take a look here, um, we have A316, and there it is, A316. That means we exported properly. Next thing that we do is we bring that 2K17 face texture over, so the face file. So here's face there. And one thing I do to make sure that the color matches up is normally what I'll do is I'll use the, the face color of the one that's from 2K16. However, let's see how this looks in game as it is. It may look okay. So let's do this. So we're going to go face and PNG, copy, and we're going to put that in our modded folder in NBA 2K16. And let's go take a look at Iverson. Again, if his face color is off, that's an easy fix. The big thing with this is, does Iverson look like the one from 2K17? And did the hair come over um, properly, etc.? And I'm still trying to figure out 2K18 through 2K21 conversions into 2K16. But it looks like there's going to be some hoops we have to jump through for that. All right, so let's go take a look at Iverson. You're also going to get a kind of a sneak peek into my um, uh, Ultimate Classic Teams roster. See, there's the Clippers right there, 13-14, the 08-09 Lakers, the 08-09 Magic, the 10-11 Mavericks, 05-06 Nets, 06-07 Nuggets, 99-2000 Pacers, um, 13, 14 Spurs, 92, 93 Suns, 11, 12 Thunder, 14, 15 Warriors. So obviously I need to add more teams, but that's kind of a sneak peek. Um, so let's see, how did Iverson come out? Look at that. That is a huge improvement over the, um, the default NBA 2K16 Allen Iverson. If I showed you what that Allen Iverson looked like, you'd be like, I can't even believe it. Actually, I'll show you after um, this. His hair is a little gray, but you can just go in and color um, you and color up the um, the uh, hair file um, in order to make it so the uh, it, it actually looks black. But look how good that came out. So the only thing that I would probably do with this, I'm not going to do this right now because um, you guys, I'm not going to make this tutorial longer than it needs to be, is I would probably just move his left eye a little bit to the left just by using the grab tool and selecting a big enough area so that wouldn't be hard to do at all. Um, but then also I would um, just obviously change the face color to match the arms or the arm color to match the face, whichever one is more appropriate for him. And so, yeah, there he is. Um, so if you have any questions, definitely ask me in the forum or on this YouTube video. And I'll, I'll continue to try to work towards getting 2K18 through 2K21 conversions to work on 2K for 2K16. If you have any ideas or want to test things out yourself, see if you can figure it out, definitely do so. Um, but, yeah, ask me any questions. And uh, thanks for tuning in.